All right, lads, welcome to On The Bench LFC. This is the Liverpool FC transfer show. In today's show, we will be talking about Raniere Jesus. Um, I believe I say you pronounce his name. Or you could be saying, I believe it's Renier Carvalho Jesus or Raniere Jesus Carvalho. Um, something along them lines, guys. Basically, a Brazilian wonder kid. One of the reasons you've probably clicked on the thumbnail and on this video is because a lot of you guys will be like, who is this Brazilian wonder kid that Liverpool are targeting? Stick around for the rest of the show, guys, as I go over what you need to know so far, what we know. And also, um, towards the end of the video, I will be watching some clips of the player myself. And there will be my reactions. And I will give you what I think of the player just off watching a couple of clips. All right, lads, so stick around for that one at the end. So the news that has been coming out over the last couple of days, guys, and it's definitely grabbed some momentum over the last 24 hours, is that Liverpool are now officially trying to sign the Brazilian wonder kid. Um, he is only 16 years old, lads, which obviously, um, with the FIFA ruling, that means that he's got to wait another two years. He has to be 18 before he would be able to you know, move to Liverpool anyway. So is it a player that if Liverpool do sign him now, to rush out and get on the back of his shirt. I don't believe it is, lads, but definitely one to stick around and you know keep tabs on, find out how he's doing because he could be one for the future. So he plays for the Brazilian club Flamengo and their former president, Clay Belete, I believe that's how you say his name as well, he has released a statement saying that Liverpool now have officially started negotiations for the youngster. Um, he also goes on in a statement to say that he thinks it's sad how you know the Brazilian youngsters don't get to make too much of a name for themselves before they're whisked away to these um, you know the big clubs around Europe and places like that. But however, um, it is good news that Liverpool are still trying to you know add to the youth setup and things. Obviously, with the fact that he has to be 18 to move to a European club. Also, he's got a contract at the moment that takes him until 2021 at the Rio-based club. So, you know, Liverpool are looking to get in there before anyone else does, pretty much, and to make sure that we will get first dibs on him. But as I said, guys, it's not someone that we will be expecting to see turn up at Melwood or anything anytime soon. But he's definitely a bright prospect for the future. So obviously what we know about him so far is that he's age 16, he plays for um, a Flamen uh, the club Flamengo, um, his position is midfield, attacking midfielder basically, um, it looks from what I've seen that he can play um, in and around the striker, second striker, seems to be more of an attacking player than he does a defensive midfielder, um, it, you know his style of play is very attack minded with a good work rate. From what I've seen of him so far, he really did remind me of Roberto Firmino, which if you stick around to the end of the video, you will see uh, the clips of me watching some of his videos and what I made of him at the time. I did highlight the fact that I thought he was a young version of, you know, Bobby. Um, and I think that, you know, maybe Liverpool was looking at it. Could he be the next Firmino? Who knows? Um, he's highly thought after anyway in the world of football, this youngster guy. So um, it, it is good news that Liverpool are still... You know, trying to fish in and around in ponds and, and trying to beat like the other clubs to, you know, some of these youngsters that could really go on to be big players. When you see the likes of like how Neymar was a Brazilian wonder kid, we all know what happened with Coutinho, how good Coutinho started to become at Liverpool and things. The only problem that I see with players like this is when they sign for Liverpool, if he ended up playing for Liverpool and we really progressed him, would he be another player that would follow in the likes of Coutinho and that? And would his dream move be go to Barcelona or Real Madrid or something? We'll have to wait and see with that one, lads. But, you know, it's still too early to say that. He hasn't even been officially announced that he will be signing a contract with Liverpool. All we know is that Liverpool are now definitely in negotiations to get this deal done. The chance, um, the chance rating that I've given this signing is very high because it's come from someone that is very close to the club, obviously being the former president. And, um, you know... He's in and around the circle that will know about this. And he also goes on to say uh, it's sad that he thinks um, the youngsters in Brazil don't get long enough um, to play for these sort of clubs before they are pinched uh, by the European giants, basically. But yeah, I think it's a high chance that this signing will happen. I think the source is very reliable. However, um, like I say, don't go out and get his name on your shirt, guys, even though it would be a good name to get because I can't pronounce the name. Um, and it would definitely throw me off. 
but um, yeah, we won't see him for a couple of years yet. Wearing the colours and also, like I say, it's not a guarantee that it's officially fully done yet, but that's what we know so far. So, so if you are now a little bit more aware of who Ranieri G Jesus is, <laughs> then please leave a thumbs up on this video. If you like the concept of this one as well, make sure to leave a thumbs up. This is a part where I will go to the clips of me watching the video clips of this young talented player for the first time um, and yeah basically my reaction to him right so we've got a video up here um, of Reniere Jesus Calvalio um, that's the name that they put there um, I've also seen it Reniere um, Calvalio Jesus um, obviously um, it doesn't come naturally to me I'm going to turn the music down on that because it's very very loud in my ear obviously I've got um, the clip here let's see um, Let's see what this lad's got, guys. All right, this is the first time I'm seeing anything of him. Um, that's good. They've highlighted his name. I always like when they do that. That's a good ball through to him. Good finish there. Calm. Got himself into a good area there. Held the line well. Um, and, yeah, tucked it home well. Good finish for a 16-year-old. Um, you could, I don't know whether you'll be able to hear that, but, you know, the commentary um, for some of these Brazilian games now are, are funny. This is actually for the national team as well. Um, he put his country 2-0 up there. Um, Raniero making a good run there. Might look like he fell over and the ball ended up in. I don't know how that happened. The goalkeeper is down. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so it's a long ball over the top and Raniero just makes a nuisance of himself, basically. So, yeah, I wouldn't say that was anything special. Uh, right, Raniero. Nice turn there. So, yep, yeah, all very good. I like that. Good turn of pace there as well. Tries to put it in, ends up off a defender. Um, but yet, yeah, um, he was very composed. Great turn. Um, wasn't really, really fast. You know, wasn't as fast as what we see with Salah and Mane. Um, but, you know, good turn of pace. Got into a good area. Tried to cross it, but it didn't happen. Okay, with this strength. Lovely ball. Yep, yeah, that's a nice ball. He finds out a teammate there quite well. So, you know, long balls. Um, that was all right, especially after he took a few knocks there. He kept kept hold of the ball. He was strong. And here we on the ball there. I'll tell you what, guys. He really actually is reminding me of Bobby Firmino. You know, the way he runs, the way he moves. Very similar to Firmino. The positions that he picks up as well. Um, He's picking up the areas that we see Firmino, and he's running through like Firmino. This is a young Bobby here, guys. I wonder whether his teeth are as shiny as Bobby, though. Probably not yet. Probably not. Um, again, his movement is very similar to Bobby. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. He, he put his foot on the ball when he rolled it back. It was very, very calm. He's very calm for a 16-year-old, guys. Very calm. Um, picked up the ball in a good area there. Good pass. He doesn't look greedy, obviously. You know, there's not tons of clips of this player, but this this video is definitely um, for a 16 year old. He looks very composed. Oh, nice little flick there. Um, it did come off. Um, it, the defender was in the way, but it managed to come off anyway. Good strength. You know, tracked back there. Good work rate there, guys. He's got good work rate. Um, you know, the way he run back there and won the ball. Good strength. Very similar to Firmino. I'm going to keep saying it, guys. I'm going to keep saying it. I think that this is. A 16-year-old Bobby Firmino. <laughs> um, again, you know, he is definitely, he looks like he's an attacking midfielder slash second striker. Striker. Second striker, the positions that he's picking up. So, nice. That was good. Oh, and he's hit it from nearly halfway. Okay, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. Tried to catch keeper offline, so, you know, good awareness. Um, it was on target as well, forced to keep a save. Uh, you know. He comes deep to receive the ball, obviously being a midfielder. Hits it. You know, he's not a striker, but I'm, I am wondering whether Liverpool are looking at this. Like, this could be a future, you know, possibility for when Bobby starts to, you know, get older and his legs start to, you know, give him maybe Bobby could teach this player. Good chest there. He hits it. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper. Um, but yeah, again, you know, he's got good touch. He's got good turn of pace. He seems very calm. Um, these commentators are absolutely mad. Um, 
but yeah, good turn of pace, good touch. You know, his work rate's fantastic. Reminds me very much of Firmino with his work rate. Um, his good awareness, uh, you know, tried to chip the keeper as well from the halfway line, so he's got confidence. Um, that was nice play, that was nice play. He's very aware of his teammates. He's very like he wants to set up everyone else. Um, he's not selfish at all from what I've seen here. He doesn't look too greedy, which is always a good trait, especially for a Liverpool player. Um, you know, he's all. he always looks like he wants to be part of a build-up and not so much the one to finish it. I'm sure he would like the limelight. He doesn't look like he's a Brazilian wonder kid in the sense, guys, that he's going to give you all the glam and glitz, like skills and stuff like Neymar's and all that, and Coutinho's with the fancy turns and stuff. He's not that sort of player. He just, you know, he's very much, you know, strength, um, awareness. Um, he looks like he could be quite good at holding the ball. Um, and his movement's very good as well. All round, lads. All round, yeah. Um, I would say if I had to give an honest fit, again, another nice turn there. Very similar to, you know, Firmino. Very, very similar. Yeah, if I had to give an honest opinion of this lad for 16 years old, um, nothing really pops at me in a sense of what you're used to seeing with, you know, Brazilian wonder kid. Um, but, you know, Firmino is, uh, you know, outstanding for Liverpool. He's not your usual... Brazilian in the sense of like, you know, he will do ball juggles and that, but he's still got flair. This lad's only 16 years old, so he's still got a lot of room and time to progress. We've got two years probably, um, you know, because of the ruling and things before this lad could even turn up at Liverpool. So, um, yeah, if we sign him, um, looks like he could be good for the future, guys, um, and he could be maybe a future replacement for Firmino. So let me know what you think um, after you've watched this video. Uh, let me know if you've seen anything of him as well. Obviously, this is the first time that I've just watched him. Um, and yeah, I think I think he looks all right, guys. For 16 years old, not a bad player, not a bad player at all. Right, so obviously, that was my reaction at the time um, when I was watching the clips for the first time of a young player. I hadn't seen anything of him before. Um, you probably noticed um, that I kept saying he was very similar to Bobby Firmino. He reminds me very much of that. And if you watch the clips of him on YouTube, I think... You will probably see where I'm coming from with it, guys. Very talented player for 16 years old. Looks like he could have a good future. Whoever he ends up going to, if Liverpool end up signing him, you know, like I say, it won't be early. It's not going to be a player that we're going to see come in straight away anyway. So definitely going to keep an eye on this young sir. All right. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you like the new concept on the channel. I will be doing this a lot more from now on. So if you do like it and if you are a new viewer to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button now and leave a thumbs up. I've been on the bench LFC. This is Liverpool FC transfer show. You've all been legends. See you in the next one, guys.